In his early beginnings as a furniture maker, Fort Neshrek would buy antique furniture and carve decorative elements into it. This was one uh, he did in 1927. We call it his journeyman's piece because he did it all on his own. Um, and you can see how he's carving this decorative narrative into it. We wouldn't do this, but in theory, you could put ink on this and a big piece of paper and come away with a woodblock print. This piece was for his own purposes in organizing his prints. If a client came over for talk about a commission, everything was organized and readily available. So these lovely drawers. And then the top piece, it's called the drop leaf desk. It's down with this beautiful leather blotter and this very, very functional interior for all the trappings of a home office. There's a drawer along the bottom of this because you always need more space to put your items. And so he pops another drawer in here. The standing height desk is something that is very popular in these days. This is something he was way ahead of the curve on then. Another thing about this desk is the absence of handles. There's no hardware on Escherich furniture. Instead, there are these wonderful intuitive little nooks for your fingers. I think he wanted to showcase the material uh, and keep it simple and really showcase the grain patterns, the colors of the wood, uh, and it was also a very organic sensibility, which, which ran through his, his work from spoons to homes. So rather than buying a commercial element to add as hardware, let's just make it right out of the material in front of us.